Hi everybody, my name is Candy and welcome to my channel. Uh, today marks the halfway point of my month long halter monitor. And I thought I'd make a video about how to deal with a long term monitor and how to make it a bit more comfortable. First, let's start by explaining what a halter monitor is. A halter monitor is a battery operated portable device that, that measures and records your heart's activity or an ECG continuously for 24 to 48 hours or longer depending on the type of monitoring used. So why might somebody get a halter monitor? Well, there are many reasons why um, your doctor or your cardiologist will want you to have a, a halter monitor. And it could be to see if your medicines are working. Uh, it could help to figure out why you're having symptoms such as dizziness, fainting, feeling that your heart is racing, or skipping beats, and if your heart is getting enough oxygen that it needs. There are things to remember when you have a halter monitor, and that is to do your usual activities while you have the monitor on. And also, do not bathe or shower or swim wearing your monitor. Don't get x-rays, and stay away from high voltage areas, metal detectors, or large magnets. This is my second halter monitor. The first one was 48 hours and had a very different way it was set up and how I recorded events. Depending on how long your monitoring is for, you could have two to five electrodes or more. Uh, many monitors come with regular electrodes, so you might have to request hypoallergenic electrodes if you have an adhesive allergy like I do. Even then, you can still react to that adhesive. You can try a skin barrier like this one, it didn't really help me, but it doesn't hurt to try. Though I do suggest doing a patch test to make sure you're not allergic to the skin barrier itself. This is the box I got when I got my monitor placed. It is the Biotech MCT3L. It came with the monitor itself, which just looks like a smartphone. The sensor which is actually pretty small. <laughs> a bag to send it back to the company, either via USPS or UPS, with the postage already bought. It also came with a quick smart guide, which will have all of the information you need, along with diagrams for where to put your electrodes or changing the battery in your sensor. It also comes with all the batteries you will need for how long your monitor is. It is very important to remember that you use the batteries that it came with, you cannot use other batteries. And I'm going to change my battery now because the battery needs to be changed and my monitor has been yelling at me all throughout my therapy session. So I just start by unclipping and I will show you how I do this later. So basically how you change your battery, if you have this monitor, is you push the orange button, it flops up, you take out the battery, you get a new battery which was supplied to you, you put it back in, and it should beep, and there we go, my battery has changed. I'm just going to clip this back on. It also came with standard electrodes. Thankfully, the nurse who put this monitor on me was the one who put on the first monitor. And she remembered that I needed the hypoallergenic electrodes because of my adhesive allergy. So she took a lot <laughs> and gave them to me. And now I'm going to take off my electrodes. Here are some tips that I have, which is rubbing alcohol. This helps get the adhesive off of your skin and also cotton rounds. So what I do when I take off my adhesive, well, I, when I take off my adhesive, when I take off my electrodes is I unclip my sensor I put this down this way and now I'm going to take off my top. So, 
a lot of my electrodes right now also have Tegaderm or cheap Tegaderm on them because they like to pop off before my electrode change. That's another tip to do is to get either Tegaderm or cheap Tegaderm. What it is called, I think, is clear waterproof bandages. It really helps because then you're not going through a lot of electrodes. So all I do, no matter what I do, this is going to be painful, but a lot of people recommend doing it in the shower um, because the water helps to loosen the adhesive and make it less painful. But really all you do is you just take them off. A lot of them have already started to come off, so that's not an issue. I have one up here and then three down here, so I have four electrodes. A good thing to do is to try to do it slowly if that helps, or if you know that no matter what it's going to hurt like the Dickens, rip it off like a band-aid. So all I do when I take them off is I stick them together. Uh, it helps it to be compact in the trash. <laughs> And you don't have to throw these away in any special bin or anything. They're, you just throw them away in your regular trash. Now that I have my electrodes off, it will take my monitor a second to realize this. And it will beep. And it will beep every so often to tell you that it is not registering your electrodes being on. So here's my entire sensor. I just have four leads. And now that that is off... I take a cotton around. This is a pump style rubbing alcohol. This is only 70%. I didn't want it to be too high. And all you do is pump it to get the rubbing alcohol on. And then whatever your electrodes were is where you clean. Now, I've used rubbing alcohol to get adhesive off myself, off of windows, off of glass, off of a lot of things. It is really good. And then also, it cleans your skin. So whenever I do this, my cotton round is always dirty because that part of my skin hasn't been cleaned in a while. But, yep, just clean that off. Let it dry, and now I will let my skin rest. Um, because it needs to. With a long-term monitor, you're bound to be uncomfortable 24-7. So trying to make it more comfortable is the most important thing. Here are some tips and tricks that might help you stay comfortable with a long-term halter monitor. With my sensor, I am able to hang it in different ways. I can either wear it around my neck with the lanyard, or I can to attach it to an electrode. So I have this little bit back here. So I take the black part and I'm able to clip it on. How I've come to wear my sensor is I stuck a safety pin on these little, these little things. And then I just clip it to my clothes. I used to have the lanyard tied around my bra strap to keep it out of the way but it started to irritate my skin so i started just letting it hang loose now speaking of bras if you do wear one make sure to wear your most comfortable bra right now i am wearing my oldest rattiest sports bra which i'm really glad i did not throw away another tip is to get some comfy pajamas for living ones that either zip up or button up just in case you need quick access. Also, I would highly recommend wearing a tank top under all of your clothes. It helps keep the wires from showing through your clothes, but also helps keep them in place. If you have an adhesive allergy like I do, try taking allergy meds every day. It'll help combat the symptoms you might have that come along with a continuous allergic reaction. Also try some allergy relief or itch relief cream to apply after you take your electrodes off. I have, this has helped my skin a lot uh, <laughs> in 
making it not red, raw, and itchy. Also, let your skin breathe after taking off your electrodes. Also, let your skin breathe before putting your electrodes back on. Always remember to never put the electrode back on irritated skin. So long as it goes on the same area as it was before, you'll be fine. Going back to not being able to take showers or baths with your sensor on, sponge baths are wonderful. It's just important to not get your electrodes or sensor wet. But if you need a full-on shower, make sure you do it on a day when you're changing your electrodes. If it's not a day to change your electrodes but your hair is really dirty, have a family member or a friend wash your hair in the sink or if your shower head is detachable, do it in the tub. When putting your electrodes back on, make sure to put the wires on them first. It's really hard to get them to click on on soft parts of your body. And um, that's, that's all the tips and tricks I've been able to come to um, at the halfway mark of my halter monitor. Uh, I made this video because I couldn't find a lot of tips and tricks for long-term halter monitors before I got this one. Um, so, uh, I just, because I really wanted some helpful tips and tricks to, on how to stay comfortable, I decided to make this video. And, um, I'm sorry I've been really awkward through it. Um, <laughs> but hey, you know, um, I, I just hope that this helped someone, um, in getting to... Try to find ways to be comfortable, especially if you have an adhesive allergy like I do. So that's all for now, um, and I will see you in my next one.